This video explains how to produce the Kit Program dashboard. To do this, you need to follow four steps. The first step is to download the dashboard template from the Coda Life website. The second step is to download the data from the Comcare server. The st third step is to copy that data into the template. And the fourth step is to adjust the template to fit the data and that will produce your dashboard. So you need to start off by coming to the Coda Life website at www.codalife.org and then scroll down to the bottom and on the right hand side you'll see this link the Coda Life KZF shared files area and it's in this area that you'll find the latest template. So click on that link and it will tell you that to go into this area you need to log in. So you click in, click log in here and you enter your ID and password. And click login. So this is the kits shared files area. So this is the area where the files between KZF and Coda Life are shared. If we scroll down, you'll see the files are arranged in different folders. The folder we want is this one here, create dashboards. So we click on create dashboards and within create dashboards there are two more folders. One contains a template to produce a field worker performance dashboard and the other one contains a template to create the kits program dashboard and we want the kits program dashboard so we click here. Within this folder uh, there's another folder which contains the previous releases of the dashboard which are not of interest to us and this is the latest template release 8 so we click on this down arrow here and select download file now this file will be downloaded into your downloads folder but in this browser I can access the file right here once it's been downloaded I will click here to open the template. So there's a download complete. So I click on this button and it will open Excel and open the template. Now the template has various tabs in it. it. The template opens on the raw data tab with the cursor here ready to accept the data. The, this tab, the dashboard tab, will display the dashboard once we have the data entered. So let's move that to one side because now we need to go to Comcare to get the data. So we'll do that by opening a new tab here and typing in Comcare HQ dot o-r-g so wait for this page to load so this is now the Comcare server home page we need to log in before we can before we're able to download the data. So we click the sign in button here in the top right of the screen. And we enter our ID and password.
and click the sign in button. This should take us to the Comcare HQ dashboard. So this is the dashboard and this is all the, all the different functions available to you. What we want is the data function and we want to export cases. Not forms, but cases. So we click on that link there. This now lists all of the predefined exports that have been set up on the system, but we don't want those. We want to move down this menu here on the left and select Excel Dashboard Integration. Now you'll see here that this is the dashboard data. It was last updated 18 hours ago. The dashboard data is updated in the middle of the night. You can see now it is 21.49, so 18 hours ago, so around just after midnight, the dashboard data was updated. To get the data, we click on this link here, or oh, sorry, on this button here, and we copy this link. So we highlight it, edit, copy. We'll open a new tab now and paste the link in here and press enter. And there we have the data. Now we have to save this data so that we can then open it in Excel. So we go to File, Save Page As, and I have got a folder on my hard disk called Dashboard Data, and that's where I'm going to save the data. It's good to give the data uh, a sensible name so you can identify it again in the future, and you can see I've got various bits of data here which have been downloaded previously. So I'm going to click on this one to give me the basis of the name and then I'm going to change it. It's now 2150 so I'm going to change the time here to 2150 and the date is the 27th so that's fine. That's, fine. that's the file name I'm going to use. So I click Save. So we now need to go back to Excel which is right here and I'm going to open that data that I've just saved. So File, Open, the data is on my Mac, on my hard disk, here's the dashboard data and this is the data I just saved. It ends with HTM. You can see I saved it at 2151, which is right now. It's always good to check the time, uh, just to make sure you're opening the right file. So I open this file now. So here's our data, now in Excel. We now need to copy this data into the template. So I'll highlight the first item of data. I don't need to highlight the, the names of the fields because they're already in the template. So the first piece of data is actually in A3. So I click in there. Then I scroll down the data. There's a quite a lot of it. So I get to the end. And then I, cr I scroll across so I get to the last column with data in it. I hold down the shift key, which I'm doing now, I'm pressing the shift key, and I click in the bottom right cell. And that highlights all of the data. You can just check that you've highlighted all by scrolling up to the top. And you can see it's all highlighted from A3 right down to the bottom right hand corner of the data. So that's our data, which we now need to copy. 
So we've got edit, copy. We're finished with this spreadsheet now. So we'll go to our template, which we opened previously, with the right cell highlighted to receive the data. And we just go edit, paste. This takes some time because it's a lot of data. But there is the data. Just waiting for the paste to finish here, which is done. So now we've got to do the final step, which is to adjust the template to match this data. So we move across to these yellow columns on the right hand side here. And we have to copy the formulas in that first row all the way down. So we highlight the first row and scroll down to the end of the data. So there we are. Now I hold down the shift key, which I'm doing now, I'm holding the shift key, and I press, I click in the bottom right. You can see I've missed a row of data here, but that's not a problem. I keep the shift key down and click again. And now I've highlighted the area, that, the yellow area, that corresponds to the data. I now need to fill down the formulas from the first row. So I go edit, fill, fill, down. So that copies the formula all the way down to the bottom of the data. It takes some time, but there we have it. All the calculations have been redone. Now if we move to our dashboard tab, that will display the dashboard. I'm just going to change the size of it here so you can see the whole dashboard. But there it is. We can now save this Excel spreadsheet and give it an appropriate name. So we go File, Save As. It's not dashboard data anymore, it's the actual spreadsheet. And you can see I've got different spreadsheets from previous occasions here. I often click on one of them to give me the basic file name. So this is dashboard, it's not 1815, it's 2156. 2156. The date is the 27th of June, that's already in there. So that's an appropriate name for this file. So there you have your dashboard saved. If you want to distribute the dashboard, you'll need to print it out as a PDF. On the Mac, to do this, you go File, Print. And I don't want to print it to a printer, I want to print it to a PDF. So I save it as a PDF. It'll now ask me where I want to save it. And it's already taken the name from the Excel file. And I can save it right in here in Kits Dashboards. So I click Save. And that's it, you've produced your dashboard. Let's just check that the PDF has been saved. So we open our file system here. If we go to Comcare, Dashboards, Dashboards Kits. There you have the dashboard PDF saved today at 2157. 2157. We double click on that. There you have it in PDF format. And that's the one you can distribute to your field workers. So that's it. That's how you create a Kits Program dashboard.